Am I the meanest? Sure enough. Am I the prettiest? Sure enough. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Sure enough. Well, who am I? Sure enough. Who am I? Sure enough. I can't hear you. Sure enough. Here we go, guys. Thursday. This is my Friday. <sighs> got a tough day tomorrow. Got the funeral tomorrow, so. Oh, man. Y'all know how they go. All right, guys. This video is deja vu. I feel like I just made a video. As a matter of fact, I think I did. But I feel like making one again, just like it. I don't care. <sighs> Cowboys. 11 and 6. 10 and 6 regular season, one playoff win. Makes us 11 and 6. Technically 11 and 6. Now, I'm old school. I consider myself being old school. And uh, I have to bring this up because I got to make people understand what I'm talking about and what's going on in the direction the Dallas Cowboys are going in. I remember a coach named Jimmy Johnson. Intimidated. He's a, he was an intimidating figure. When he walked in the room, you could hear a pin drop. He was all about winning, perfection. He was a psychology major, so he knew how to deal with different personalities on the team. And take and and, 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 and crunched that all up into one and win Super Bowls. He was all about winning Super Bowls. He was all about winning. He had an eye for talent. Put the Herschel Walker trade together. His actions spoke louder than words. Didn't need to talk. Didn't need Twitter. Didn't need Facebook, Instagram, all these sissy websites that everybody gets on. And talk noise to each other like girl, like a bunch of kids. Didn't need none of that back then. The pads did the talking. And we've won championships. And I was blessed to be a part of, of witnessing three of them. Should have been four, maybe five. But I was blessed to get three of them. And I'm, thank, I'm still to this day thankful for it, even though it was years ago. <sighs> If somebody did something wrong, Jimmy would get on. Wasn't no clapping. This uh this hiring within. Now, every job that I've had, I've had to uh fill out an application. And there was a part called experience, what I've been through, references. They want to know what you, what, what can you bring to the table in this line of work? Can they trust you? Are you consistent? Or can you be on time? They check all your references and stuff. They want to know. What I'm still trying to figure out, and I don't give a damn about college. It's a different, it's a different sport, different level. Trust me, I know. But where does it say on his application? Please tell me if you can get a copy of it. Let me know. I want to see it. 
But please tell me what does this say on his application that he has experience in the NFL being an offensive coordinator? Now, it's been over two decades since we've been to the Super Bowl. To me, that's long enough. It is time. Way past due. And I'm trying to figure out, with all this talent we got, with all these young guys we got, youngest team, one of the youngest teams in the NFL, second or third, I believe, but pretty much one of the youngest teams in the NFL. A lot of fiery talent. A lot of people still on rookie contracts. We got some money to burn this, this offseason. Pretty, pretty decent on the cap. We did things right last year for us to be decent. Uh, we gave away a number one draft pick, Mari Cooper, which was well worth it. He was probably one of the best receivers in the league. If he would have played with us all season, oh, man, he would he would have easily been probably leading in receiving yards and maybe touchdowns. Who knows? But who knows what we can do in the draft? We could probably trade for, with somebody and get a draft pick back. Who knows what Jerry's going to do? What the Cowboys front office is going to do. Now, we're going in the right direction. We had a pretty decent season last year. It wasn't bad. 11-6, hell, that's pretty good. Better than mo most of the teams in the NFL. Made it past the first round of the playoffs. Passed the wild card. Beat the Seahawks. Nobody thought we could beat them. That's fine. You know, we lost to the Rams. Okay, cool. Congratulations to the Rams and their fan base. Go to the Super Bowl, beat the Patriots, so, so Tom Brady won't get that sixth ring. Now, all year long, all year long, guys, we talked about Dak, Dak Prescott. You know, you got the Dak haters out there who can't stand him, even if he scored touchdowns and win ball games for us. They still don't like him, just for some certain, magically, deliciously, mysteriously win, I mean, uh, 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 reason. But, you know, we all talked about his footwork, his accuracy, everybody. It's no mystery behind all that. We know Dak needs to work on that stuff. Kellen Moore is the quarterback coach, right? This is my thing. If you want to hire within, fine. I, I was kind of leading towards the direction that we would bring somebody in that, you know, a new start, you know, kind of, kind of fresh makeover. That's what I was thinking. But it's still the same old philosophy. Hire within, get another puppet. He knows the system. He knows the game plan. Go ahead and move him up. That's another guy we can tell what to do. Same thing. It's Linehan's boy. Now, I said this when I made my video, and I didn't say nothing. I just kind of looked at the camera and clapped my hands when he fired Scott Linehan. But the title of that video was, you got rid of Scott Linehan. What about Kellen Moore? Shouldn't he be gone too, right behind him? That's what I thought. I thought they were both going to be gone together. But they keep him. Now, maybe y'all out there know something I don't. About Kellen Moore. I got a lot of people saying, Kellen Moore is going to be a great coach. How do you know? We, I'm, we're in limbo right now. That, the Cowboy Nation is in limbo. I'm sorry, but we are. You are. If you're a part of Cowboy Nation, you're in limbo just right along behind my ass right now. You're in limbo. Because we don't you don't know. I mean, we we <laughs> if he couldn't get Dak Prescott to where we think he should be, how's he gonna get the offense right where they should be? Did him and Linehan get into a fight? Did he disagree with Linehan's methods? How do we know? How do we know he's going to be a great offensive coordinator? I need somebody to tell me. If, if Whoever knows so much, please tell me right in the comment section and tell me how Kellen Moore is great. Well, he was great. And I don't want to hear when well, he was great in college. He was a great. I don't want to hear that. Say that. I've heard that already. Tell me something different. I want to hear something different. I want to be shocked. I want to be surprised. I want to be wrong. And y'all know I don't mind being wrong. I don't care because I don't give a damn what nobody thinks. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and beat y'all to it. Cause there's some smart asses out here in, 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 in Cowboy Nation. There's some smart asses out here. They'll say they, they go they like to go back and look at your past videos and to see your reaction and shit. Just like for example the, the Leighton Vanderest shit. They want to go back and look at that video and and, and, and use my reaction against me. <laughs> I'm gonna make you look bad because you thought just because I didn't know who the some bitch was. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon, pardon me. Pardon me for not knowing who Vanderess was. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and beat y'all to it. Cause I don't mind being wrong. As a matter of fact, I want to be wrong about Kellen Moore. I hope he gets in and proves and and, and calls the perfect playbook, opens the perfect playbook for us, and, and, and win us three, four, five championships. Get Dak going right like Jared Goff. Prove me wrong, please. I'm begging you, because right now, you suck to me. I, I'm, I'm sorry, he just does. And where, where is it? Where in, the, in his application does it say Kellen Moore is going to be a great offensive coordinator. We're going to move this guy because he has experience and with this team and that team. I understand the John Kittner thing. I, I get that. Cool. He's played for us, played behind Tony Romo. He knows the system. He's been around the NFL, worked with different quarterbacks. I get that. <sighs> Kellen Moore? Offensive coordinator is a big deal, man. I don't give a damn if Gary's supposed to be called the plays or not. That's a big deal, man. They do all the work. So we're gonna put Kelly Moore in our hands. It's just like you, you got your own business, right? You got your own business. You got all these qualified candidates under you, working under you at your business. And they do a great job because they've been with you for years on end. Then you hire somebody and got no damn experience. Nothing. You put you put him in one of your trucks. And, and, and he wrecked the son of a bitch. Then what you gonna do? That's just my thing. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But like I say, I, I, I just got a feeling this is going two steps back instead of going forward. So, I'm, like I say, like, like what was I saying? I'm gonna go ahead and beat y'all to it. This is the video right here that I talk bad about Kelly Moore. So if you want to go back a month from now, two, three, four months from now, and pull up this video, please do. Please do. In 1980, you, you, you see, you were wrong about Kelly Moore. I told you, you're a damn lie because every, every need to last one of us is in limbo right now about this dude. We don't know shit. No, nobody know nothing about Kelly Moore. I guarantee you, somebody's gonna get up here and they're gonna say, "I, y'all was talking bad about Kelly Moore." But see, I told you, man. Please say that shit, man. Save it because you don't know nothing. You just like me. It's hiring within. I don't get it, man. As long as these two guys, people say, oh, Stephen Jones, he's different, man. He doesn't, you know what? I just want to be proven wrong. All these things I've said about Jerry Jones and the front office and the organization, since Jimmy Johnson, I want to be wrong. But I've been right every year. I've been right. <laughs> I've been right, man. I just want to be wrong for a change. Please, I want to be wrong. I want to fail. I want to fail. <laughs> I want to fail at my thought process towards the Dallas Cowboys front office. I want to fail, but every year I've been wrong. I've been a straight A student. I would have graduated with honors. <laughs> if I if that was a test about the damn Cowboys organization. They prove me right every year. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna put him in a coach. I mean, he, he's out there with, 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 uh, uh, doing plays with, with, with the damn Pro Bowl players and shit. 
and 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 uh shit, what's his name? Jason Garrett out there, you know, making sure everything's cool and all that. Man, they they gonna they just keeping us in suspense, y'all. They gonna do that shit. They they just keeping us in suspense about the situation. They just trying to find the right time to uh to to give us the bad news. <laughs> Seriously, man. They trying to let everything kind of die down a little bit. And I just pray I'm wrong about the situation. I want to be wrong about Kelly Morris. I'm going to beat y'all to it. I want to be wrong about Kelly Moore. Make sure you stay cowboyed up. And prayed up. You never know what the day is going to be. I'll back at you, boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is.